Hi, this is Angie Monko. I'm a life coach for intuitive women leaders. Today, I wanna to introduce you to the controller saboteur. Now, this is my number one saboteur as far as when I take the assessment for that. And the, the controller has an anxiety-based need to take charge and control of situations and people's actions to one's own will. High anxiety and impatience when that's not possible. That's positiveintelligence.com's definition. And so if you are an intuitive and empathic woman leader, then you're probably in tune with what people are thinking and feeling. You probably grew up in a household, very sensitive to all the energies around you and, and, and to the people there, like I did. And sometimes when we grow up in an environment that's somewhat chaotic, um, where we don't feel comfortable or safe for whatever reason, uh, for any myriad of reasons, then we can develop these controlling tendencies because our nervous system maladapted to a new norm. You know, it's like we began to try to control things that we had some measure of control around, you know, like our environment. It gave us some emotional relief to control our physical environment or, you know, keeping it neat and tidy and organized. And certainly being organized and tidy and in control of processes. And that's a wonderful trait for leaders. But when taken too far, it can destroy the quality of our lives and our relationships because people don't want to be controlled. They want to be respected and heard and seen. So take it from me, this has been my number one saboteur. And it takes a lot of humility to, to rein it in. But there's definitely a way to do that. So go to harmonyharbor.com, click on the Let's Chat button, and let's have a chat, no pressure whatsoever. I'm here to support you.